Welcome back to the Undo Commentary. So we got uh, hyphen hyphen Zoro here at 14, and we got D'Antoni 12 at 13, and then we also made Chaos back again. Yeah, I'm out Chaos here again. So hopefully we get some better duels than we did last time, because uh, yeah, and it looks uh, like we're going to fast. Looks like uh, bad. zombie synchro. Yeah, it, looks mm, like, it seems like it. Yeah, uh, zombie synchro versus. He's gonna go, he's gonna no, go. Ah, it's the one flaw about freaking DN said. Since shit's not anime automated, player has to do it, so they wanna take forever. They just fucking take forever. Yeah. Like, come on. Didn't he pass turn? Isn't it Zoro's turn to go? Take your turn. Thank you. Let's see what you're playing. Some kind of uh, blue eyes dragon ruler, mystic ruler, right, variant? Turbo through your deck, yeah. activate soul charge. Check my goddamn hand. Soul charge is Might down. be pure blue eyes as well, but that's very unlikely. Yeah. And then during the end phase, he activates super rejuve. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Once that super determination was so stupid. Oh, he must see him with the advantage of dragon roller. Right? What? Vanish. Tempest and search for a tuner, maybe like the Breeze Dragon, hmm? maybe. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. Or maybe banish uh, Redox or Title. Oh, oh, yeah. I know your plays, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was maybe gonna give you the benefit of doubt and maybe ban banish a Title and a Redox and get your freaking Mythic Water or Mythic Wood. There was some uh, rumors going around about the Breeze Dragon. Getting changed. Oh yeah, yeah, that's confirmed. It got changed. You didn't read it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a new errata. I mean, I like it. it. Just means that Dragon Rulers can't go into Star Eater anymore. And now yeah. when I misplay on... Yeah, completely effect. Yeah, completely changed it. Like, that's not an errata. Why the fuck is Gold Shark still on the field? It's Gold Shark. Yeah, actually. It's, it's about... Yeah. Um... I guess he wants to be... Fixing new start translations, not about changing card effects. Yeah. I guess he wants to just keep it on the field, just a reminder, but it's Gold Sark, not different dimension capsule. <laughs> yeah. That better not be Debris Shaggin. That better not be <laughs> Debris Shaggin face down, okay. Oh, they keep swiping. That's interesting. So what the hell, what the hell is this? You got a light in there? Yeah. What's this? I guess Chaos Dragon Rulers. Yeah, Chaos Dragon Rulers. Is it Pendulum Chaos Dragon Rulers? <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to try. Oh, Dragon Shine, one of the best Neg ones in Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, pretty much. That is another card we should look at when it comes to hitting. The deck if they don't want to ban Dragon Rollers, but I'd say I'd say probably go after Curry Bandit first. Curry Bandit's a little bit more powerful than that card. You know, if you don't want to ban the Dragon Rollers, I think Soul Charge the one and and uh, and uh, Curry Bandit one would probably be appropriate. Well, I do want to ban Dragon Rollers. <laughs> I mean, I say I can't really tell if, if that's what Konami wants to do or not. Yeah, it would be the correct choice, but will they do it? Then probably not. They might do it. Maybe I would be. I would be totally if fine. They are also sick of that uh, deck. Yeah, it really, de it really depends on how uh, how well uh, that light sworn ruler shit does, and whether Konami wants to hit it. It'd be nice if it actually won and took worlds. Then it could be on super radar, like fucking dragon rulers and spellbooks were a year ago. It's already been a year. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> he synchro summons into the same exact cards. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna do it, you 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 might as well do it now because after the new Rally, you won't be able to do it anymore. Synchro summon debris in your dragon ruler. Okay. Get that dice. Wow. Wow. With the K. Is that fucking game? Yeah, I think so. Holy shit. Aggressive is 
balls. First two is over. Yeah, first duel is over. That was quick. Yeah, very fast. Hit that easy button. That's a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the deck is so aggressive. Aggressive is not my cup of tea. I prefer control. Same here. <laughs> you would never you'll never see me running like like light swarms or dragon rolls or some kind of variant in the, in real life. No, thank you. I don't like it. I'll play hat before I play that deck. And hat I, is a back row dot deck. Yeah, I know. I hate back row. <laughs> but I like winning and I am totally different when it comes to, you know, dueling in real life. Actually, you know, actually, you know what? No, I'm not. I still hate back row. And my deck, I main deck two malevolent side, another malevolent in three row decree. Like, no, 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 no. I still hate oh, back row. Main <laughs> catastrophe, yeah. that's unusual. Yeah, because they never see it fucking coming. <laughs> They're like, oh, there's one catastrophe, and then I get it again. I like, oh my god, again? Like, mm -hmm. And I like seeing that card often with my, uh, with my hack deck, my uh, hands artifact and stellars. I don't like the trap tricks. I don't think they bring anything new to the table. All the artifacts do is just summon and pop, but you need to do something more with them. When you add that constellar aspect and you summon more than one Pleiades, that's when mm. you start being an asshole. Oh god. I guess here comes the bills. Uh. Yep, here comes some multi-bills. Alright. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's using Pleglicious Ubel. <laughs> Armageddon Knight? Oh, I know your plays. <laughs> I can read both of you. <laughs> That's how I always tell people. Wow, Armageddon Knight, is that expensive? Holy crap. Yeah. Damn, she dolls. He printed. I remember it was like $5. Like, really? Okay, well, I'm glad I got yeah. me three Armageddon Knight. Oh, are coming very yeah. soon. Yeah, they're coming. Well, it's even limited to the no shit here. Yep. They better not hit. I'll be so upset if they hit my arm again and I eat just because of Shadals. It'll make me cry. Yeah. Like, that's not even fair. Like, hit their shit. Don't hit my shit. Yeah, Shadal Fusion should be limited. Yeah. That's the broken part of the deck. Yeah, hit Shadal Fusion. The deck wouldn't be shit if it didn't have the fusions. And I'm ready for them. You know what I got? What? I have so many noblemen. <laughs> Oh. I'm hoarding them. <laughs> That's a really good card against them, of course. <laughs> the people will be like, oh, I need to beat you so bad, oh, no, thirsty, thirsty. Of course. What the fuck? Leo? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe not. Yeah, Leo. Yeah, Leo. Hello. So, yeah. I mean, I'm ready for him. I think I can take shit alls. It's all about that, uh, that mid-rash. Yeah, pretty much. Like, enough of them is good, but mid-rash is the one that's a pain in the butt, because you can't be destroyed by card effects, and you can only spare someone once. So that kind of handles the... Good. Yeah, so that kind of handles the aggressiveness of the aggressive decks and the control aspect of hat with the artifacts and the hands at the same time. He is turboing oh. the shit out of his deck. He's yeah. gonna activate Super Rejuve. <laughs> <laughs> then throw Exodia. <laughs> yeah, then throw Exodia. <laughs> Exodia Dragon Ruler. <laughs> wow, Soul Charge as well. Soul Charge is balanced. Yeah, completely balanced. Yeah, cool. 250. Yep, stay at 3 forever. Too good. Monster Reborn, stay banned now. Because, because right now, Monster and Borning, his opponent's Armageddon Knight, that's just too fucking broke. It's too fucking broke. But Soul Charging all that shit back? No, that's fine. It's cool. Can't get out your battle phase. It's fine. they will probably still be able to go ham as fuck, but no, it's cool. I guess Azura is Silver Dragon. I'm just trying to, yeah. Monster for Blue Eyes. Yep. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell he's gonna do about that freaking Leo. Yeah. 
Get the freestyle on as well. Yep. Wow. What, what the is this? What the hell is this? <laughs> track on in track on the like what? What could possibly be in his hand that he doesn't mind pitching with? I guess. I mean, unless you unless you're using it in some kind of a dark world deck, it's it's an egg one, so. Yeah. <laughs> Said Bazooki. <laughs> like he cares. You make another, another one? Oh my god. So charged, so balanced. Still can't get over that Leo fool. I know. I, I still haven't figured out how he's going to get over that Leo though. Hopefully he plays Mirror Force. Man, no one plays me, of course, nowadays. <laughs> yeah, this instruction is just so bad. I guess that's the reason to make two. And face MST. Alright. And he hits a song warning, nice. That's good MST. Yeah, very lucky. Yep. See, see, it was good that he couldn't conduct his his battle phase last turn because Soul Charge is so balanced that it didn't even matter that he brought back all the cards and stuff and resources. Didn't even matter. And all oh, the life points. Who the life points? I can't believe there's actually people who believe that Soul Charge is either a balanced or b not even good. Like, how do you get to that mentality? I guess it's because it's a risky card to use still, and uh, it doesn't work in all decks. Shit. There's risks in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's why it's called Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> it's a card game. <laughs> yeah, that's game. true. Alright. And if we put it to one, then, you know, for damn sure everybody in the mother is going to play it, because then they're going to think it's a goddamn staple. He said, you ain't got no nipples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. This really sucks that Leo's a Earth. <laughs> please don't, please don't tell me this duel is literally just going to be kill a blue eyes for 100, next time I face, bring back a blue eyes, kill a blue eyes for 100. Not that I missed it. Another one. Well, I mean, he did turbo the fuck out of his back. Debunk. Oh, debunk. Nice. That's also a good side card. How much is debunk right now? Expensive. A bit expensive. About twenty dollars, I think. Thank God I have three already. Yeah, it is. I sold one a long time ago. I bought them when they were five. <laughs> I pulled one in the booster pack. In a long time ago. <laughs> yep, this really looks like he's into I mean, the thing is, is that Zoro is out-resourcing him. That's great. Yeah. My points aren't really a factor. That, that Leo is still sitting there. That Leo, though, like, how? How are you going to get around that Leo? Pretty hard. It is pretty hard. How strong is a uh, Star Eater? Uh, 3200. So it can get over that. If we can summon another Dragon Ruler. Can't see his graveyard. Yeah. If he can bring out a Dragon Ruler, he can go ahead and make a Star Eater. With the debris Yeah, dragon. then the game will be pretty much over. Yeah, then the game will be pretty much over, because then he has no other plays, and the Leo is gone. Keep the door nice, short, sweet, and simple. Okay. Are you gonna use? Are you gonna use the title? <laughs> Wonder maybe if he it doesn't have any. There was mythic water dragons. Oh, the deck. okay. Yeah, I guess. I guess he just wanted to do that. Yeah. All right. Looks like he, that's what the play he's gonna go for. He's gonna go for a star eater. I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. There he goes. You're lucky that the Rada hasn't gone into effect. The Rada went into effect. He wouldn't be able to do this play. <laughs> Because, uh, 
Wow. 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 And this is pretty much over. Yeah, it's over. In one turn. Yeah, because the router pretty much says that the Bruise Dragon can only be uh, Synchro Summoned with level 4 or lower. Yes. So, you can make Stardusts now, so that's awesome. Yeah, that's nice. So, Autocade twice. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he, he, look at look at how many cards he drew first turn. Like he went off because of the maxi, and he went off because of, yeah yeah. Like don't be surprised. That's game. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Those. Yeah, like I said, if, it was, if, if the Arata was in effect, he wouldn't be able to do that, so... I, I, I don't even know how he would have got it without Leo if it wasn't for Debris Dragon. Yes. But, well, there's another episode of DN Duel Commentary, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Omega Chaos, for joining me. No problem. So, do you have anything else to say? No. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time with another DN Duel Commentary. Thanks for watching.